Every Amazon seller knows how difficult it is to track and measure the impact of external advertising channels on sales. No matter how you drive clicks to your Amazon page, it's like a mystery once shoppers land on the site. Thankfully, that's not the case anymore. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patel, product evangelist at Seller App, and today I'm going to give you the breakdown everything you need to know about the Amazon attribution. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to Seller App so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. So let's get started. Amazon Attribution helps you to easily track, attribute and optimize all your non-Amazon marketing campaigns to supercharge your Amazon business. It gives you some crucial analytics and insights into how your non-Amazon marketing efforts like search, social media, display, PPC, blogs, Pinterest and email marketing actually impact your sales on Amazon. It's like having a valuable tool to uncover the secrets behind your sales. But wait, there's more. Amazon Attribution can even track the traffic you send to a different website which then ends up converting into sales on Amazon. It's all about connecting the dots and understanding what's really driving those sales for you. Now here's the best part for all you sellers and brand owners out there. By using Amazon Attribution, you have a golden opportunity to maximize your return on investment. How? Well, there's an interesting program called Brand Referral Bonus Program. When you participate, you can earn a bonus averaging 10% of the product sales that come from your non-Amazon marketing efforts. It gets even better. With the Brand Referral Bonus Program, you will keep getting the same bonus for customer purchases of your brand's products up to 14 days after they click on your ad. So you are not just getting a bonus for one sale, but for multiple sales for the same customer. The more traffic you drive to Amazon, the better the chances of earning a bonus. So if you are ready to level up and start earning, enroll in Brand Referral Bonus Program and measure the campaigns with Amazon Attribution. Now let me tell you about one of our renowned clients in the fitness category who is working with SellerApp for Amazon Attribution. It has completely transformed their marketing funnel with SellerApp's help. They've got a unified view of their non-Amazon advertising strategies. They could see how their Facebook, Instagram and Google campaigns were performing alongside their Amazon conversion and sales metrics. It's like having all the important data in one place. And guess what? This comprehensive reporting totally transformed their approach to marketing. They were able to create a super effective full funnel marketing strategy and the results were mind blowing. Their Amazon order shot up by a massive 525% in just three months. Now I know you must be eager to know how they achieved this incredible growth, right? Well, you are in for luck. I'll be sharing some useful tips on how you can leverage Amazon attribution to drive success after short intervals. So stay tuned for that. Firstly, when you run off Amazon marketing campaigns that lead shoppers to your product detail pages or store on Amazon, you can actually see how those campaigns impact the customer behavior. That means you will get insights into how customers discover and consider your product and ultimately what leads to conversions on Amazon. You can use metrics like detailed page views, add to carts and sales to figure this out. And armed with these insights, you can motivate shoppers to engage more with your brand on Amazon. Now, Amazon Attribution is a URL-based tracking method. Imagine it is like this. You add a special tag to your regular URL. And when someone clicks on that tag link, Amazon starts tracking what happens next. 
it tracks how many people view your amazon listing how many add your product to their cards and of course how many sales you make plus they keep tags on other important metrics too so right over here i have a normal url this is what a standard amazon listing url looks like this will take you directly to the amazon listing and this is what it looks like once you have generated an attribution tag now if you click on either one of these links you will end up in the exact same place and it will look exactly the same tip number 2 Thanks to Amazon attribution you can now learn which products customers buy through clicking through your non Amazon campaigns. Now with these insights you can shape new marketing strategies and identify fresh opportunities for remarketing or you know cross selling or even promoting new products. It's like discovering a better way to boost marketing effectiveness. Now first things first before you dive into creating the tags you need to figure out what you want to track this step is crucial because it will make the whole process a lot smoother ask yourself questions like are you tracking just one product with the tag or maybe a group of products or do you want to track all your products also decide how detailed you want to get with the tracking now let's take a facebook ad as an example you could use a single amazon attribution tag to track all these sales generated from the facebook that's easy but the downside is you won't know which specific ad led to the sale alternatively you can use separate tags for each individual ad this way you'll know exactly which ad is driving the sales on amazon Personally, I prefer being more detailed because it gives you better insights. Now let's get into creating the Amazon attribution campaign. To start, log into your exi existing account and, you know, head over to the menu on the left. Scroll down to the measurement and reporting and select Amazon attribution to begin. Click on create campaign and then choose your creation method. If you are using Facebook ads or Google ads, then there's an option to create all your tracking links in bulk but for this example let's go with manual creation first name your campaign this name will be like a holder for all your attribution tags you can come up with a naming convention that works for you for instance if you're promoting a yoga mat on facebook with 10% discount you might name it something like yoga mat Facebook 10% off August 2023 to keep it organized and easy to find. You don't have to fill out an external ID if you don't want to. I usually don't. Next, pick the product or products you will be advertising. Before moving on, here's your tip number 3. Testing is crucial for success and now you can do it like a pro. So simply use attribution tags across the marketing elements you want to test. then analyze the results to figure out which creatives messages publishers or strategies have the biggest impact on your marketing goals it's like having a handy tool for optimization then the next step is to create the ad group so here's a handy tip think of ad groups in uh, amazon attribution like holding one tag each So name the ad group based on what you're tracking. It's different from Facebook ads where one ad group can have multiple ads. In Amazon attribution, it's one ad group per tag. So if you are tracking a specific ad, name the ad group accordingly. Publisher is just a way to uh, select where the Amazon attribution tag is going to be used. I'm going to select Facebook and then the channel is just what you're doing. So in this case it's only social because they know Facebook is a social platform but you can see over here that some of the other options that might pop up or display email search it's if you select a Google ad the click through rate URL is based on the original link that you want people to click on you have got a couple of options here you can send them directly to your Amazon listing or if you have an Amazon store with multiple products you might choose to send them to a specific page of that store so once you have decided where you want to send them on amazon just take the link and pop it right over here 
Now for the ad group name, you can keep it consistent with the naming convention you used for the campaign. So for example, if your campaign was about a grounding mat, Facebook 10% off, you could name this ad group something like video ad one. It's just to help you keep track of the things easily. If you need to create multiple tags for the same campaign, no worries. You can simply duplicate the existing ad group and rename it accordingly. So once you create it, uh, it will take you to a page with all of your tags that you have created. Here you can see the campaigns, ad group, publisher, channel, attribution tags and click through URL. An easy way to do this is just go ahead and download all your tags into a CSV file, a spreadsheet so can, uh, you can just have it and look at it whenever you want to. The next thing to do is to go ahead and use these tags while creating your ads. So once you're using the tags and people are clicking on them and maybe buying, you can come back into this main campaign area and you can see things like the number of click throughs, the total detail page views, the total add to cards, total purchases and even the total sales. And then if you want to see some more individual stats, you could go in and click on your individual campaigns and go on from there. It's time for tip number four. With Amazon attribution, you can quickly pinpoint which campaigns are rocking it and which ones need some tweaking. Making in-flight campaign adjustments is a breeze and it helps you maximize your campaign's impact. It's all about staying agile and getting the best results. Now keep in mind that there might be a slight difference between the clicks you see on your ad platform and what Amazon reports. That's normal and happens with almost all of the tracking platforms. So don't worry too much about it unless you see a significant deviation. In that case, make sure you're not using the same link somewhere else unintentionally generating extra clicks. When it comes to orders, give it a few days to show up. Similar to Amazon PPC, it might take a little time for orders to appear in the reports. Remember, Amazon Attribution follows a last click attribution model, which means the credit goes to the tag that got in the last click before the purchases. So if someone clicks on your Pinterest ad, then on your Google ad and buys after clicking the Google ad, the credit goes to the Google ad. Also, there's a 14 days look back window. That means from the moment someone clicks on the link, Amazon keeps the track of their activity for the next 14 days. So if they come back and make a purchase within that period, it still counts under the attributed campaign. And this calls for tip number five. By using Amazon attribution tags in your social media posts that link to your store and product pages, you can gather insights into how your off Amazon followers shop with your brand once they land on Amazon. Now talk about understanding your audience on a whole new level. A new range of advantages come with using Amazon attribution. Simply put it uh, provides you know, unique insights that allow brands to optimize their Amazon marketing campaigns and boost conversions as well. Plus, it's completely free. So let's take a closer look at some of its perks. First of all, Amazon Attribution gives you unique insights that can take your marketing campaigns to the whole new level. No matter where your audience comes from, be it Facebook, Instagram, or Google, Amazon Attribution lets you track their journey from the first click to the final purchase. You get a detailed breakdown of click metrics, the page views, conversions, and even shopping cart data. Oh, and get this, it also shows you uh, when potential customers click on your ad, but end up buying a competitor's product. Real-time reporting means you can start assessing your campaigns right away. The second perk is all about optimization. So armed with this knowledge of your uh, sales funnel, you can actually figure out which channels and campaigns are driving the most traffic to your Amazon listings. 
This way, you can focus on what's effective and drop the strategies that aren't working for you. Plus, Amazon Attribution connects with Amazon's internal data, giving you the power to retarget prospects through the Amazon Advertising DSP. So if someone clicks on your Amazon listing from Facebook but doesn't convert, you can show them personalized follow-up ads and the next time they visit the Amazon. So Amazon Attribution can help you boost your key performance indicators as well. By relocating your resources by the best performing campaigns, you can increase your sales on Amazon, reduce costs and get a better return on ad spend for your external Amazon advertising campaigns. So if you track your PPC campaigns, you can also use Amazon Attribution to improve your Amazon ACoS and bring down that customer acquisition cost. And here's the last tip for you. With sponsored display, you can remarket to audiences who have clicked your non-Amazon ads and checked out your store's product pages but haven't made a purchase yet. It's a powerful way to redefine your marketing approach and make a significant impact across different channels. It's like leveling up your marketing game thoroughly. Well, here's some exciting news for you. Those who have used Amazon Attribution Insights to optimize their non-Amazon media saw a fantastic 18% increase in new to brand sales. So why wait any longer to get these powerful insights into your customers' buying habits? The best part is Amazon Attribution is currently free to use for vendors and brand registered sellers in the North American and European Amazon marketplaces. It's an opportunity for you, which you should definitely not miss. Don't hesitate. Set up your Amazon account now and uncover how you can supercharge your external marketing campaigns and drive more conversions. And if you need help getting started, Cellarap's PPC experts are here to assist you on support at cellarap.com. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Cellarap. Let us know if you guys want us to create DDL seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, Happy selling!